Broken Heart, Forgiveness. What you have to know, day 1540, 1540 uh, daily reports of what I'm doing as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And in 2020 and beyond, a little bit of back and forth. And probably I say and beyond because I, I like having my toe in both worlds or tipping my toe in both worlds and, or, and participating in both the offline and the online world. And then merging them together because it's such a powerful combination to uh, have them work in unison. It really helps us to grow and supersize our business, which is what I'm all about. Helping me and my family and other people I love and care about and other people to grow and build and supersize a business that is right for them. Uh, I've grown businesses and supersized them that were not right for me. And that actually led to a broken heart, <laughs> literally broken heart. Our idiom for supersize your business today was broken heart and broken heart dates back to 1015 BC. It's a very, very old expression. And it was, uh, it's a biblical reference to the pain of a broken heart, the pain of disappointment, overwhelm, a grief, sadness, things like that. Uh, but there's also, and I didn't know until I probably vaguely heard about it in the news, but never really paid attention until 2010 when I personally had a broken heart. It's called broken heart syndrome. I had a sudden cardiac arrest and uh, they can, it, it's generally brought on by extreme stress and it can literally break your heart. Stress can literally break your heart. And I didn't really know that until then, but I know that now um, one of the fortunate few that survived that event, don't talk about it too often. And I was talking about it today and, and bed, 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 jumble, jumble. Cause it's one of those things that's hard to talk about and other people don't get it or understand. And I, I don't even claim to have 100% understood it myself and I have actually experienced it but uh, so I was talking about broken heart broken heart syndrome stress can kill you pay attention to all the areas and aspects of your life not just singular focus now we, we talk a lot about it especially in business and online business the importance of focus but there's a difference between having a focus for our business and paying attention to the other areas and aspects of our life. They aren't mutually exclusive. We need to do both in order to have the energy, have the health, have the mental well-being, have the emotional well-being, have the spiritual well-being in order to grow and supersize our business. So in order to create and be the person we want to be in our life, we need to be a whole person, not a, a singular entity, you know, singularly focused in one area or aspect of our life. It's like people that only focus on their relationship or only focus on their mental well-being or only focus on their physical well-being we need to be not balanced I, I don't believe in balance but we need to have we need to pay attention to all the different areas and aspects of our life it's why I'm doing the annual challenge and using the life framework with nine different areas of our life and we're spending a month on each one and then the first nine months of this year and then the last couple months and three months of the year we'll do other things to improve us a little bit every day but today, our topic for the annual challenge, day 108 already, was forgiveness. We talked about why forgiveness is important, what's in it for you to forgive, why it's critical that we forgive ourselves, and then different steps to forgiveness. And we need to each identify our own process. How do we go about forgiving? Forgiveness is another one of those. It's one of those things that <clears throat> you learn about as a kid, as, especially if you're in a, a religion. I was raised Catholic and we learned about the importance of forgiveness, but I'm not sure I ever was very good at practicing or doing it. Mostly I didn't let myself get hurt very often, but then when I did, I just would move on and then stuff it away. I didn't really ever deal with that hurt or that it, to a point where I would have to forgive somebody. I just removed toxic people from my life, some of them, and then moved on. Or I'm, I went to a different situation or a different place or a different job or a different role or a different school, whatever was appropriate for the situation. So <clears throat> it wasn't until after my sudden cardiac arrest, my broken heart syndrome, that I actually started to consciously be aware of and think about forgiveness and how critical it is for us to forgive ourselves and let ourselves off the hook for mistakes and failures and things that we've done in the past that we beat ourselves up for. We need to let that stuff go. So was talking about that. So I guess those are two topics that are challenging for me to talk about and, and share. They're pretty personal, right? Forgiveness and dropping dead, pretty personal experiences that not a lot of people maybe can relate to. So that's 
something I need to work on and, and why communication is part of my uh, areas of life that I'm focusing on right now and working on and setting goals in because I want to become better and more comfortable telling stories, stories and pulling out the pieces of those stories that I think are important because other people can learn from and relate to them. I think it's critical that people understand that the people that I interact with that nothing is worth dying for. I mean, I, okay. I, my kids are worth dying for my grandkids are worth dying for, but any business that I'm involved in any situation I'm in, even relationships that I've elected to be in, for example, my marriage, it isn't worth dying for. Some things are unconditional. We, we live our, we love our kids unconditionally, but loving our business to the point of, of dying or breaking our heart or stressing out to the point of impacting our health in, in all kinds of ways, you know, stress. I believe personally that stress is the underlying root cause of all illnesses, right? All illnesses, cancers, heart disease, mental illness, right? I think it's the cause, the root cause of everything. So if we can learn to deal with and handle stress in our life in positive ways and take that energy of stress and instead of making it de-stress, make it use stress, meaning stress that drives us to create the things that we want in our life. I think stress can be a benefit there. But for the most part, the negative way that we're all handling stress in the in the universe right now, drugs, alcohol, overeating, uh, things like that, um, you know, uh, avoidance activities, procrastination, not making choices and decisions because we're stressed, um, letting other people control us. All of those things are the result of too much stress. Stress is, a neg to me, a negative emotion. It, it comes from doubt, worry, fear, anxiety, depression. All of those, to me, are stress. And if we're putting stresses on our life, it's negatively impacting us. All right, I'm, di I'm diverging. So have an awesome day. If I can help you anyway, ask. It does not stress me out. Uh, you can box for me at Pajama Grandma, or you can find me, Sharon horn Elstrom all over the internet, you know, Facebook, all the main social media platforms, and just message me, direct message me, say, hey, I got a question, or hey, I need five minutes. Say, I need five minutes. That's the perfect way to approach me in terms of just getting a quick blip of help. All right. Have an awesome day. It's an, it's an awesome Monday. It's actually snowing where I am can't believe it's still snowing. It's what, April 18th and it's still snowing today. Woke up to, to not, not flurries, like big, fast falling flurries, which means it's probably warm enough that it's on that border of, of snow and rain. But boy, when you wake up and see those white snowflakes still, you're like, really? Come on, it's time for spring, especially after Easter. I right, have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.